So today we're going to be constructing the bisector of an angle using a compass. Now before I do the construction though, it helps to sketch out a diagram of what we're doing so we can understand why the construction works. All right. So let's say I have an angle here. Okay. And I sketch in the angle bisector and I'll mark it so that's an angle bisector there. Now, what we know about angle bisectors is any point on an angle bisector is equidistant from each of the two sides of the angle. So the distance to this side right here is going to be equal to the distance to this side over here. And that goes for any point on the angle bisector. So the reason why this is important is because we can use that fact to find the angle bisector of this angle right here. All right, so let's do that. So I've got a compass here, and I'm gonna set my compass so that I swing an arc off of the vertex of the angle, and I hit the size of the angle somewhere so that I hit it on both sides of that angle, all right? Now, what I wanna do is find a point that's equidistant from this point and that point, all right? So we're kind of looking for this point right here. So what I'm gonna do is have a compass setting, and it doesn't matter what compass setting it is at this point, but off of where the arc intersects the side of the angle, I'm going to swing another arc out here, okay? Now, I'm gonna use that exact same compass setting on where the arc hits the other side of the angle, so right there. And what we're doing is we are locating the one point, this point right here, that's the same distance from here as it is from here. And we know that because of our compass setting, right? This distance here is the same as this distance here. Therefore, this point has to be on the angle bisector. So. If this point's on the angle bisector, and I know the angle bisector goes to the vertex, I now know where my angle bisector is. There it is right there. And I can mark this as an angle bisector. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe, because it really helps us out. But with that being said, Good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.